the information the video shows me instead in Henan, China. <laughs> Heavy rains have caused severe flooding in numerous areas of the province. As a result, tens of thousands of acres of fertile farmland are now completely underwater. The floods have forced over 100,000 residents to abandon their homes, according to reports from state media. In Nanyang, the most severely affected city in Henan province, more than 600 mm of rainfall were recorded within a 24-hour period. Rescuers had to navigate the flooded streets in speedboats, often wading waist-deep through water to pull people from their submerged homes. This scenario is being replicated across China, where floods have become a common occurrence. In the past two weeks alone, tens of thousands of people have been evacuated from several different provinces. The abrupt transmission from drought conditions to severe flooding highlights the critical issue for the Chinese government. The need for efficient emergency response and recovery operations is becoming increasingly frequent. Experts warn that extreme weather events are likely to become more common due to anthropogenic climate change. Torrential rains have impacted the southern, central and eastern regions of the country, leading to widespread emergency measures. These heavy rains have necessitated extensive efforts to manage and mitigate the effects of the resulting disasters. Last week, China's ruling Communist Party formally acknowledged the seriousness of the flooding situation.
In response, they have pledged to enhance disaster monitoring prevention and control measures. In recent years, the Chinese government has increasingly focused on the domestic risks posed by the climate change. This focus includes concerns about the potential impact on the nation's food security. The government's response to the current floods has been both swift and challenging, involving numerous agencies. Thousands of rescue workers have been deployed to assist those affected by the flood and provide necessary aid. <laughs> Temporary shelters have been established to accommodate the large number of displaced residents. The full economic impact of the flooding is still being evaluated by authorities. The destruction of farmland could have serious consequences for local and national food production. Damage to infrastructure, including roads and buildings, is extensive in many areas affected by the floods. Long-term recovery and rebuilding efforts will be crucial to restoring normalcy in the coming months. Subscribe to the channel and stay up to date with the most important events related to natural disasters.